guys, this is not my typical video, but I wanted to help some of the people that might be searching on YouTube that have an elevator problem that um, before they spend like probably a thousand to two thousand dollars to get their elevator fixed. Typically it happens after a storm or um, like a power outage where you lose electricity to your house and what happens is the lift master or the speed mat speed master whatever it's called <clears throat> and i'll show it to you in a second that goes cold because there's no more electric running to it for a few hours or a few days however long you lose your electric and it's a really easy fix and i wanted to create this video for those that are maybe doing a search on youtube to help you guys because saving a few thousand dollars um for an easy fix is always something that um you know, I would do personally, and then I'm hoping that I help somebody out in the same time. That's kind of what um, part of my channel does, uh, is I try to help people that are strangers, um, make money on the side, or, you know, random acts of kindness, etc. So, kind of keep to that point, and I'll get started. I'll show you how to fix this really easy. Alright, so usually if you have a power outage, now you can see it still shows, like, here's the elevator, okay? And then you go in, how you typically would, close your gate, whatever you might have, and then you try to use it. It's not working. You turn your key, it's not working, right? Everything should be working. Check that, make sure that that right there is closing properly, the door is shut as it should be, and it still will not go up and down, okay? So the problem is wherever the motor and the electrical is, and I will show you that now. So in our case, the elevator motor and the electrical is up in the attic. So find the access door or whatever. Turn the light to go up the stairs. So here's where the motor goes. See that cable that runs and then you could physically see that's the motor. That's the emergency hand crank. And then this chain is connected to the motor. So if anything happens, this will pull and shut off everything and sh you know, close it down for safety reasons. All right, so I'm inserting this clip into the video because I forgot to mention this part. So there is a chance that if your elevator isn't working, it's because this chain was messed with either by like a cable guy, a plumber, kids running in the attic. Maybe you set some Christmas gifts on this, not knowing that the chain would cause a problem, but the chain is a safety measure that shuts off the whole elevator via the electric and it's connected to that sh emergency shut off. So basically all you'll do is you'll flip that switch up. The chain won't move, it'll just stay taut like that. And then go ahead and try your elevator again. And there's a chance that that could have been the issue as to why you had somebody up in your attic that was messing around and accidentally knocked into this chain and you know, for the safety measures, it cut off the electric. But you follow the electrical cords to that motor, and I'll show you where it goes. It goes over to this panel. All this is for the elevator, and it should come with some paperwork, etc. But I'm gonna save a bunch of time, and I'm gonna show you all the main cul culprit and what you gotta do. So in my case, I have an inclinator, and then I lift this up. Here's all the innards. Don't worry, it's not that complicated. Here's your problem. See this thing? That controls the lifting of the elevator. And if you notice, it's not lit up. There's no lights on, no nothing. So what happens is, whenever you have a power outage or some sort of surge and the house shuts down or there's a storm or whatever, that uh, it's like a safety thing as well, but um, this needs to have, it needs to stay warm in order to run. And once it cools down, then it doesn't turn back on for whatever reason. So you call up and you don't know why it's working and you call up an elevator company and they come out, do the service call and they probably don't even change it. They do exactly what I'm doing to get it running again. And then they charge you, you know, 500,000, $2,000, depending on where you're at. And I'm gonna show you all the cheap and quick, easy way to fix it. There you go. Get a hair dryer, plug it in. I have it plugged in on the outlet here. 
Fortunately for me, there's an outlet in the attic space, but if not, you'll have to run an extension cord down your steps to an, uh, an outlet on the wall down there or something, but get your uh, hair dryer. And remember what I said, how when electrical goes out, that mechanism gets cool and it needs to stay warm to run. Okay, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna warm it up with the hair dryer and then it's magically gonna turn back on. It's gonna go through like a reset process for maybe two or three minutes. And then I'll go downstairs and show you the elevator running again. All right, so I'm gonna turn it on and then I'm gonna show y'all. I'm not, you probably won't be able to hear me while the hair dryer is going, but just watch where I use the hair dryer at and then watch that screen. You'll see it light up. Uh, in probably 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how long this has been cool for. Um, but let's go ahead and start. Make sure there's heat going on. All I'm doing is I'm going along the wiring and trying to heat it up. All right, I'm heating everywhere around this thing. Now, depending on how long it's been sitting cool for, it could take longer or shorter. Boom! You see it just turn on? That's it. Now that I warmed it up, it's gonna go through whatever reset process happens here, something scientific. I don't care, as long as the elevator works, right? So now, I'm gonna wait a couple minutes, I'm gonna get downstairs, and with the magic of editing, I'll be down there and we'll see a working elevator. All right, moment of truth. I'm downstairs. It's had a couple minutes to go through its reset process. Make sure the door is always shut completely. Obviously, you probably already know that. The gate. That electrical connection, when you shut the gate, has to be made, which y'all already know, you should know. All right, now the key, I'm not sure if it was up or down when I was initial, but let's see here. I'm on the first floor, so let's go up to the second. Okay, so the key's the wrong way, now the second. Whoa, look at there. We are officially moving. I just saved the family at least 500 but you know how it is everything goes up so depending on whatever they want to charge you is what they would charge you just to go into your attic space and heat up that mechanism and they probably wouldn't even replace it they probably just heat it up knowing it was that quick of a fix well y'all i tried to keep it short and sweet hopefully i know a lot of people don't particularly have elevators in their house so maybe this is only a snippet to help out a, a small few people online who are searching this on youtube but you know what if i helped one person save five hundred thousand dollars or whatever then it was worth making this video if you liked it please hit the uh thumbs up button it helps out the channel and um in case you uh happen to want to see content where you can make money selling things out of your house that you have sitting around feel free to subscribe to my channel and that's mainly what i do here is i show people how to make side money or um, you know, you could do it full time if you want, uh, selling things uh, on eBay or locally through Facebook Marketplace, etc. And uh, it's pretty fun, exciting, and get to meet a lot of people. And there's things out there that you don't know that are worth a lot of money that you can make some really good, uh, you know, vacation funds, whatever you might want. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. I'm out. Peace.